Hey everyone, my name is Blessy, and here is my day in the life as an infusion nurse. I work at a wellness facility, and today is a Sunday morning, beautiful Sunday morning, and my commute to work takes me about generally 30 to 45 minutes. It's far, but honestly, I enjoy driving regardless, so it doesn't really bother me unless it's traffic. And of course, this is me showing off my $1.40 homemade matcha latte for all my frugal friends out there. It is so good, plus it saves you so much money. And I'm heading towards the ivory room as we call it and to my workstation. So I'm here at my desk, getting myself situated, putting my stuff away and also removing my mask for the meantime, just because here in Harris County, they ask us to be wearing masks in public, especially when COVID started. This is just me trying to clock in, but for some reason, my computer is not letting me. Oh, there you go. So, yeah, I just clock in, check how my day is going to look. And also, it really depends on the clients who book a service that day and walk-ins to consider too really determine the flow of my Sunday. So here, I also check my work email and open my charting system to prep for my Sunday. Next, after I'm finishing looking at the computer, I'm setting up the IV room, making sure that it is well lit the room is clean and usually the nurses before my shift have already done some disinfecting and cleaning so I'm just here to make sure everything is nice and straight. I know y'all can see it but there's a card that has gloves and IV start kits that I check on my rounds to see if I need to stock up. I'm just here writing down some lists that I need to do for today and I use a clipboard a lot to jot down vital signs and info as far as the services go and it just helps me remember what I need to chart on later. So we also have recliners outside of our IV room that we use for IV services and all I do is just clean and open everything up. And right here, I'm just showing my ass, you guys. You better appreciate it. I'm just kidding. One of the things I love about working as an infusion nurse here is I get to talk to clients, talking to them about services and telling them what other services we offer and how it can help. Or just sometimes just get to know and chat them and their goals. Like my workplace is very positive and our clients, you can tell that they're very proactive when it comes to taking care of their health and their wellness. Other than doing intramuscular shots or IV insertions, another service that I assist our service representatives is doing a cryotherapy session, which you can see here. Especially when you can see everybody is swamped, doing too many things at the same time, I really don't mind running a session or just helping them out. Plus, it gives me a chance to catch up with my clients, especially when they're freezing. And my clients really appreciate it when I distract them from the cold and just thinking about the cold and makes it more tolerable for them. The next thing I do is I prep for my client coming in for an IV therapy appointment. So this is one of my regular clients and I already know what kind of drip they want me to do and want me to prepare. So 15 minutes before their scheduled time, I get their one liter of normal saline ready. I spike the bag and prime the tubing making sure I remove all the bubbles from the tubing and making sure it's ready. So now that I know that my clients are here, I'm just preparing their IV start kit. So I start off with placing my tourniquet and my tegaderms and selecting uh, the IV catheter sizes or the gauges. I usually go for 22 or 20s. It really depends sometimes on their veins too. Then I put the alcohol swab and roll out my table. 
This is one of our amazing clients and this is how I really typically start is I put on the blood pressure cuff, I assess their vital signs and just go over with them what their plans and their goals are. As soon as the vital signs were taken, uh, of course, I show it to my clients and go over with them their blood pressure and their heart rate, making sure it's within our facility's parameters. This is also a great way for me to educate my clients as far as what are the vitamins they're getting and at the same time, how it would benefit them. Now it's time to start the IV. So I have this amazing client. He didn't mind me recording his arm as I start his IV. Of course, I clean my hands and at the same time, put in the tourniquet and put on gloves on and just palpating for a good vein on his antecubital site. And once I found the right one, I start cleaning it with alcohol swab, allowing it to dry and proceeding through with inserting the IV catheter. And that's it, we are done. Now, making sure to connect the primary tubing too and sealing it off with a tegaderm. To prevent their arms from bending, putting a pillow underneath their arm helps. Here, I'm just prepping for their micronutrients or their vitamins. You can see here I'm putting labels on the syringes. making sure I'm preparing them properly if ever they have to be given through IV push or IV piggy bag. Again, this is always a great opportunity for me to explain to my clients what kind of micronutrients or what kind of vitamins are they getting in their bag. So it's been my practice before I even inject the needle I tell them this is your B complex this is why you're taking B complex and this is why it is good for you and that's about it you guys I hope you enjoyed this video this is my day in the life as an infusion nurse and I hope you guys really like it I'll see you on the next one